We're going to build a Google Sheets savings tracker all the way from scratch. And once you've built it, you can easily name the goal, set the amount and how much you're starting with, plan out your savings contributions and track your progress over time. You can manage up to five goals at once and you can download the completed file using the link below if you want to try it out first. Okie dokie, let's get to it. Starting with a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet, We'll start by setting up the formatting so it looks nice and professional. Click here in this box, which is called the name box, type in one through 1000 and press enter. This selects rows one through 1000. And with these rows selected, right click on the row headers, resize rows, set the size to 30 and click okay. With the rows still selected, change the vertical alignment to middle. Next, select column A, hold Control or Command if you're a Mac user, and also select columns D, E, H, I, L, M, P, Q, and T. Then right click, resize columns, Set the size to 50 and click OK. Select columns B and C, hold Control again, and also select columns F, G, J, K, N, O, R, and S. Then right click, resize columns, set the size to 125 and click OK. Select row 3 next, hold control, also select rows 5, 8, 11, and 14, right click, resize rows, set the size to 15, and click OK. Then select row 4, right click, resize row, set the size to 40, and click OK. Then click here to select all cells. Click the fill color button. Click the plus to create a custom color. Enter the hex code F1, F3, F4, and click OK. This should give you a very nice light gray. Next, select the range B2 through D2. Increase the font size to 12, bold the font, click the borders button, change the color to dark gray 1, click this to apply all borders, then click this button here to merge the cells into 1. Also, change the horizontal alignment to center. Then click the fill color button, click the plus to create a custom color, Enter the hex code DEEDE4 -E and click OK. This should give you a nice light green like this. And you can go ahead and type in something like goal 1. Next, select B4 through D4. Increase the font size to 11. Bold the font. Click the borders button. Apply all borders, and change the horizontal alignment to center. Then select B4 through C4, reset the fill color, and merge the cells. Select D4, set the fill color to the custom light green. Click the font color button. Click the plus to create a custom color. Enter the hex code 488460 and click OK. After that, select B6 through C7, bold the font, go to borders, all borders, select B6 through B7, set the fill color to the custom light green, select C6 through C7, and reset the fill color. Then in cell B6, type in goal, 
In B7, type in start. In C6, type in 5000. And in cell C7, type in 1000. Then select column C. Change the horizontal alignment to right. And then click the More Formats button, which is the 1, 2, 3 that you see here. And you can select either Number or the Accounting Format, whichever you prefer. Next, select B6 through C7, copy the range, select B9 and paste, select B12 and paste. Select B9 through C13 and press Delete to clear the contents. Then select B9 and type in Planned, then Still to Go, and in B12, type in Saved and Still to Go. Next, select C9 through C10, unbold the font, and change the font color to dark gray 3. Select B9 through B10 and change the fill color to light gray 1. Then select C12 through C13 and change the font color to the dark custom green. Okie dokie. Now for the savings table below. First, select B15 through D15. Bold the font, set the fill color to the custom light green, go to borders, and click this to apply outer borders. Select B15 and type in date, then amount, and then the letter S for saved. After that, click in the name box, type in B16 through D and press Enter. Reset the fill color, click the Borders button, apply a left border and a right border, then click away. Turn off the grid lines by going to View, Show, Uncheck Grid Lines. Click in the name box again, type in B16 through D and press Enter. Click the Borders button, change the color to light gray 2, and click this to apply inner borders. Then select column D and change the horizontal alignment to center. Then click in the name box one more time, type in B16 through B this time, and press Enter. Click the More Formats button here and select Custom Date and Time. Now, you can pick a date format that you like, or you can build your own. To build your own, clear the contents on top, and use the down arrow to add different date elements. Personally, I like to add the month abbreviation, then a space, then the day, comma, space, and the year. Either way, once you have a date format that you like, click Apply. Okie dokie, now let's add in the checkboxes. Click in the name box, type in D16 through D, and press Enter. Then go to Insert, Checkbox. Now to change the color of the checkboxes, go to Font Color and choose the custom dark green. Excellent. At this point, go ahead and type in a handful of dates, amounts, and check a few boxes as well. Now, if you find that the dates are moving over to the right like this, then select column B and set the horizontal alignment to left. You then have to reselect the merge cell on top and set the alignment back to center. Awesome. Once your spreadsheet looks like this, you're ready to add the formulas. Let's begin with the planned amount in cell C9. So go ahead and enter the following formula. Equals sum function C16 through C, close parentheses, and press enter. 
This formula simply adds all of the planned amount values to give you the total. In the cell below, enter this formula. Equals C6 minus C7 minus C9. This formula takes the goal value and subtracts the start value to give you the amount still left to save, and then subtracts the planned total to give you the amount that you still need to plan for. Next, let's calculate the saved amount. Select cell C12 and enter this formula. Equals C7 plus sumifs function C16 through C, next argument, D16 through D, next argument, true, close parentheses, and press enter. So, how does this formula work? Well, the sumifs function adds together the amount values where a checkbox has been checked. This is because a checked checkbox is equivalent to true, while unchecked checkboxes are equal to false. This number is then added to the start value to give you the total amount saved towards the goal. And if you check and uncheck boxes, you can see how this value changes. Now, for the still to go number, enter this formula equals C6 minus C12 and press enter. Here, you simply subtract the saved amount from the goal amount to give you the amount that you still need to save. Okie dokie, now for the percentage in cell D4. Go ahead and enter this formula. Equals, if function, C6 equals 0, next argument, 0, next argument, C12 divided by C6, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula uses the if function to check if the goal amount is nothing or zero. If so, you get zero. Otherwise, the saved amount is divided by the goal amount to give you the progress percentage. And the big reason we're using the if function here is to prevent the divide by zero error whenever you change the goal or haven't set one yet. Also, if you have a decimal here, Click this button to display the number as a percentage instead. Then you can use these buttons to add or remove decimals. Awesome. All that's left now is the progress bar. So select the merge cell on the left and enter the following formula. Equals sparkline function D4 next argument open bracket quote chart type quote, comma, quote, bar, quote, semicolon, quote, max, quote, comma, one, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, four, eight, eight, four, six, zero, quote, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. This formula uses the sparkline function to create an in-cell bar chart, and if you live in a country that uses a comma as your decimal separator instead of a period, then your formula will look like this instead. Either way, the first argument is the value that you want to chart. The second argument contains an array of name-value pairs that specify what the chart should look like. First, you have the chart type, which is set to bar chart. Second, you have the max value, which is set to 1, which is what you want because you're showing a percentage here, and 100% is equal to 1. And finally, you have the color of the bar, which we are setting using the same hex code that we used earlier to create the custom dark green. And that is all there is to it. The only thing left to do now is copy this setup, paste it a few times, and then change the colors. So to do that, select columns B, C, and D, copy the range, select cell F1 and paste, select J1 and paste, select N1 and paste, select R1 
and paste. Awesome. Now for the colors. For the sake of time, I'm just going to give you the hex codes for each color instead of changing them all one at a time. And I'll show you the hex codes on screen, give you a chance to pause the video and make the changes, and then I'll move on to the next color. First, the red fill color and the red font and bar color. Next, the blue fill color and the blue font color. Now, the yellow fill and font colors. And finally, the purple fill and font colors. Okie dokie, once you have the colors, go ahead and select cell A15 and go to View, Freeze, up to row 15. This will enable you to keep the top information in view whenever you scroll through the tables on the bottom. Nice! Now that you have a savings tracker, it's not a bad idea to create an income and expense tracker as well. So watch this video next where I show you how to make the whole thing just like we did here, and you'll end up with another amazing tool.